for the final discussion of this class, I wanted to talk about a kind of underrated genre. Um, it is Korean pop music. Um, here within the States, it's not very popular because they usually don't speak English in their songs. It's always in Korean, so it's really hard to understand what some of the songs are talking about. But to me, that really doesn't matter because a song's a song and if you want to know what it means, you can always just look it up. You don't necessarily have to go based off of the lyrics. But there are some hidden English words in a lot of their songs, but it's mostly in Korean. And one band that I think helped that genre kind of become popular like it is now is BTS. They are internationally very popular. Um, BTS, they debuted in 2013 um, on June 13th with a song called No More Dream. And for the first few years, they didn't really, for the first, I think, two years of their career, they would put out an album, but it wasn't really very recognized. It was probably recognized over in Korea, uh, South Korea. However, here within the States, it really wasn't very popular. Nobody knew who they were, unless you were listening to that genre before then, before 2013. Like me, I was. I started listening to it in like 2010. Um, but it wasn't until 2015 when they came out with a song called I Need You off of their Most Beautiful Moment in Life Part 1 album. That song was kind of their key to stardom. It was the first song that they won an award with. And since that song came out, they have skyrocketed. They've won many awards. They charted in Korea, obviously. And from then, a lot of their music was becoming recognized within the States and not so much just South Korea. But in 2020, when they came out with their uh, song Dynamite, which was all in English, that one kind of set them off to become, to set them where they are now, basically, and how popular they are. Um, because that was the first K-pop song in history that debuted at number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 chart. And since then, they've been killing it, basically. They've been, after that, they came out with another single called Butter, which was all in English again, and that one charted again. And then they came out with another single, which was all in English as well, called Permission to Dance. And that one charted too. Most recently, they just came out with, their most recent album that they just came out with is called Proof. It's basically just, it's basically their, not a greatest hits album, but it's an album that consists of their most popular songs on each one of their albums. Starting from their first one, called We Are Bulletproof all the way up until Proof with their new ones on it. But I feel like not only did they kind of set off, not set off, uh, not I think that not only just because they made their popular in the US, but I feel like their popularity and their stardom here within the States and that they made a song that debuted on the US Billboard chart that it kind of helped other Korean artists feel comfortable promoting not only in just South Korea, but all over the world and in the States and kind of giving them courage to try to do what BTS did. There are a few other bands that are pretty popular within the States, but not, uh, none like BTS, obviously. Um, I forgot to mention BTS, they consist of seven members. There's RM, he's the leader and the main rapper, one of the main rappers. Then there's Jin, he's the oldest and he's one of the main vocalists. There's Suga, who's a main rapper. Uh, J-Hope, another main rapper and the main dancer. And then Jimin, who's a main vocalist and a dancer. V, who's a main vocalist and dancer. And then Jungkook, who's a main vocalist and one of the other main dancers. Um, the oldest one is 30 and the youngest one is... <sighs> I'm not very good at math. He was born in 97. So that would make him 
Round 25, I think. That sounds right. Yes, that is right. He's 25. Um, currently, right now, they're on a hiatus. They're not going to be promoting right now. But other than that, I feel like K-pop is a pretty underrated genre in music. Not a whole lot of people know about it. I am someone who not who necessarily, I don't really tell people that I like it because you tell people you like it and then they're always like, well, why do you like that? You don't know what they're saying. Blah, blah, blah. But I think that it's still a good genre of general. Music's music, whether it's in English or not. That's my whole thing. Um, But one song that I think for BTS, there's so many I could list all of their discography if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. But one song that I feel like represents them and their style is ding ding that's hard to pick because there's so many but I feel like one that designates their sport because they don't really have a style because every time they come out with a new album there's a new kind of theme to it like the first album they ever came out with was like dark and edgy the first few were like that, but once they came out with The Most Beautiful Moment in Life Part 1, it kind of, it got softer the way they would perform, they, the way that their songs sounded, it was softer. And it kind of was soft for the next two, and then it got into their Love Yourself era, where they came out with three separate albums, one called Her, the other one called, I can't remember the other ones. But the last, it's their love, their love yourself, which basically during that whole thing, they promoted that you need to love yourself more than what you think you're worth, basically. they That's something that they promote really well is that they want you to love yourself for who you are and not let what other people think of you kind of turn you down in a way. And, but I think the one song that represents their style during their like edgy era would be their first song no more dream and one for like their softer one is called spring day that one's one of my favorites um it's kind of slower compared to no more dream and it, they sing a whole lot softer the rapping within the song is not as hard compared to the other ones but I think that people should be more open to K-pop. <laughs> and not only K-pop, other Korean music, like Korean hip-hop, other like rappers that just, that's their thing. I feel like they get a bad rap because nobody knows what they're saying. But sometimes those songs are pretty good. <laughs> I am sorry that this presentation is a mess, <laughs> just saying, <laughs> but I feel like, yeah, BTS, that's just where I'm at with them. They're my favorite band probably ever. I could go on and talk about them for like half an hour, but this said no longer than 10 minutes and I'm already at nine minutes. So I think I'm gonna end it there. <laughs>